Welcome to the Brainiate Show, where we talk about all things Salesforce, sharing the coolest features, solutions, and best practices to turn you into a Salesforce rock star. Here's your host, former attorney turned Salesforce consultant, trainer, and MVP, David Giller. In this episode, I sit down for a chat with Dana Hall. Dana is a Trailhead Engagement Marketing Manager at Salesforce. Dana shares with us some of the best kept secrets regarding Trailhead, including some hidden gems, best practices, and tips for getting the most out of this incredibly useful, free, and life-changing tool. Dana Hall, welcome to the podcast. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? I can't complain. I am really excited to have you on the podcast because um, it, in my in my day-to-day life as a uh, doing Salesforce consulting as a Salesforce user group leader, very often I'm asked a whole lot of questions about Trailhead. How to use Trailhead, what is Trailhead, or hey, how do I learn about Salesforce, whether it's as a business user or someone who wants to be a developer or an admin, gain some certifications. And I'm totally comfortable answering these questions, but that makes me realize there is a lot of um, curiosity and interest in Trailhead. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'm thrilled to have you here on the podcast to help shed some light on awesome ways that more people can get uh, the most out of Trailhead. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I hope I can provide all of that. <laughs> <laughs> I have no doubt that you will. So tell me, for those who are uh, have who have never heard of Trailhead or maybe briefly seen the logo uh, or some cool cartoonish looking icons, what on earth is Trailhead? What is it? So we like to say that Trailhead is the fun way to learn Salesforce. And that's because it's a hands-on um, product that allows you to get in to a, what we call a trailhead playground and do hands-on challenges, building things in a real environment that's safe, separate from perhaps your work environment and your work org, um, pulling lists, building reports, doing all kinds of um, exciting new skill building mm-hmm. um, in a way that you're able to test uh, whether or not you've done it properly. So while you're um, learning a new skill, you might not always be able to know if you're doing it right if you're studying on your own. But with Trailhead, you can um, submit an online challenge and it will automatically tell you um, whether or not you did it correctly. So it's um, it's also quite gamified. And by mm-hmm. that, I mean there are points and badges. Um, so you're rewarded um, with uh, just some fun additions to it, the profile that you're provided. And and um, there's often contests for prizes, um, and it's just a, a fun way to get hands-on and, and learn Salesforce skills. Yep. I, I couldn't agree more. And, you know, I, I often struggle to uh, try and give that elevator pitch of what Trailhead is because there isn't much of a point of reference that I can refer to to say, well, you know, Blah blah blah. Well, it's just like that, but for tra- but for Salesforce. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty unique. I think it's a great new way of of learning in general, um, but mm-hmm. especially of learning Salesforce. So we have uh, a lot of uh, interesting content on Trailhead, and what what it is is it's 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 guided learning. So we have what we. We have the outdoor theme um, of Trailhead, and we also have, you know, some really great characters as well. Um, but we carry that theme off into how we developed the content. So we have these guided learning paths to chart your course through your Salesforce skill development. So you can learn at different um, role types and different levels of, you know, beginner, intermediate, advanced. And we suggest uh, ways to build your skills. So to earn what we call um, one badge is a it will be a module of content um, that's one skill and then we suggest the next badge to earn that we feel builds upon the previous so you're learning in a way that hopefully mm-hmm. always um, adds on and by the by the time that you get to your next skill you feel you've mastered the previous so um, it's it's a different way of learning, um, especially with the hands-on challenge being checked um, automatically. But it's something that I think people 
people love, and I know for me personally, I've able to, I've been able to learn a lot on from my on the job training with Trailhead as well. So right, right. I I like it too. <laughs> yeah, there are so many aspects that I love about Trailhead, um, particularly the fact that it's on demand. It's mm -hmm. not only the reading of text or watching of a video. It's a combination of text, video, hyperlinks to other type of content and the hands-on exercises and the gamification aspects. And at the same time, even if someone is struggling, they don't have to be embarrassed. No matter how advanced mm -hmm. they are in their career. So it could be someone who is super advanced in their career, but Salesforce is relatively new to them. And... They wouldn't feel, they might not feel as comfortable being in a classroom style with, uh, setting with a whole bunch of other folks who are uh, newer in their mm -hmm. career uh, paths, um, sort of feeling a little bit embarrassed as a newbie. And this, this allows them to gain that expertise. And even if they have to fumble at any step along the way, Trailhead makes it super easy and private and <laughs> it's, at the same time it's gamified so it's not so bad no i mean it's it's the the fact that you can learn at home at your own pace um i think is a real selling point for a lot of people because um so yeah sure there's the the privacy of doing it in on your own but also just being able to um, attack certain problems that you're experiencing um, in particular um, at your own kind of on-demand learning. So if you're not trying to go down a trail, so to speak, um, at the moment, but you're looking up a particular problem you're struggling with, you're troubleshooting, um, you can do it on-demand and on your own, um, which I think uh, is, is super helpful when you're actually on the job, especially a lot of our content is bite-sized and broken down into units. Mm -hmm. So if you have a particular problem, you might be able to use uh, a 10-minute or 15-minute unit or perhaps even shorter to find exactly what you were um, wondering about and struggling with. So um, I, I think like that sort of private on-demand um, works for, for that as well, which is something that, that I, I've heard a lot of people like to use it for, which I, I think is interesting because it's certainly not the way I first imagined people would use uh, right. would use the product. So that's wonderful. Right. And by the way, that is the scenario in which I am most frequently referring folks to Trailhead, where it might be a business user who says, "Hey, can you just do you have some time next week to maybe come on site and train me on how to do how to use reports and dashboards?" And I say, "Well, of course, but if you want, you can leverage these um, modules within Trailhead and you can do it on your own and it's not just a matter of watching a YouTube video it's a hands-on exercise and you can do it on your own at your pace whenever you want you'll probably be done way before the time slot comes on the calendar for me to show up on site or alternatively <laughs> if you would rather sit and wait for me to stand in front of you and show you Salesforce on the big screen I'm happy to do that too yeah, and I mean, that kind of reminds me, um, one of our, our trailblazers, Toya Gatewood, um, mm -hmm. I spoke with her a few months ago, and she, um, I did a, an interview with her, and, and she's she's ph phenomenal, and she was talking about how she was able to train her replacement mm -hmm. with Trailhead, and she did it remotely. She got her dream job, and she was able to move from Ohio to Washington, D.C., and they couldn't find a replacement for her as a uh, Salesforce admin um in time prior to her leaving, mm -hmm. but she was able to train her replacement who didn't have Salesforce experience from DC. Right. And what, what she did was she would assign her, for instance, the reports and dashboards badge and, and some other beginner admin badges, and then she would meet with her virtually. They would go over what, what the young woman learned um, on Trailhead, mm -hmm. and then Toya was able to speak with her about how the 
that particular company that the new hire was at, how their instance works, and maybe any of the interesting things she might need to, to customize it for, for their use of Salesforce at that particular company. So she was able to get the foundation covered. So by the time they met for like a private tutoring session, um, they were able to tackle some of the higher level um, personalized thinking that Th that maybe you wouldn't be able to get to in time if you're still learning the basics. Mm -hmm. So that's absolutely incredible uh, because I mean, just imagine without having access to a tool like this, how would Toya manage navigate this situation? You know, uh, either she would have to spend a crazy amount of time working to do some knowledge transfer or the organization would have to dedicate a tremendous amount of money to and time to send that replacement over to some training where, again, usually classroom style training does not incorporate the type of hands-on experience and not at the type of pace that is digestible. Um, that's completely doable on trailhead. Yeah, I mean, hands-on, Training is great, and but in-person training is also wonderful, and having an in-person mm -hmm. teacher is is certainly great. And I think Trailhead can also um, go hand in hand with that sort of learning as well. Mm -hmm. It can, yep. you know, it really it really all depends like how a person learns. And I think one of the great things about Trailhead is it addresses some of the different ways that people learn. We have content um, that's visual with video, obviously the written word. We have the hands-on kind of get your hands dirty type of learning. Mm -hmm. We try to address all of that, and so that's kind of uh, an exciting element of the way um, the trails are built out, always trying to access different parts of the brain to make sure everybody feels like they're getting fully engaged. 100%. Yes, and, and everyone's learning styles uh, can, can differ, the, you know, the way they, um, they absorb content and having that hands-on experience is one piece of it, but I agree with you 100%. There's, uh, while I'm a huge fan of leveraging technology for remote learning, whether it's by watching videos, uh, doing a live screen share type session, um, even with the hands-on component, there's definitely the element of the face-to-face -face interaction that for some people is not only beneficial, it's critical. I can tell you as, as an instructor, for uh, when I'm doing Salesforce training, standing in front, of, in front of a room filled with people, the feedback that I'm getting just from the facial expression, so if I tell someone, okay, on the top of the screen, you see the search box, go ahead and click in there and just search, and I get some puzzled looks, I would have no clue through the, their silence. I would have no clue if I were doing the exact same training to the exact same audience uh, through a screen share mechanism. I would not know that they were completely befuddled and lost, that they would not know where the search box is. But by being in the front of the room, I can see their facial expressions. Um, and I can address that immediately of, hey, what's the issue? And then the students tell me, yeah, how do you log in? How did you get to that screen in the first place? So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's definitely a time and place for different methods of learning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When do you think is the best time in a person's career to start tapping into Trailhead? Oh, well, you know, there really is no best time. I think, like, uh, it sounds a little cheesy, but I think the best time is, is now. Um, there's so many different folks that are using Trailhead at different levels of their career. It's certainly a wonderful onboarding tool for a new user, whether that person's an, an admin, a dev, or, or a general business user. Um, I think that so many folks who didn't have it when they started will tweet or tell us in an interview or come up to us in event say, I wish I had this when I started 10 years ago. So it's certainly a wonderful tool for beginners because it helps kind of give you a guided but fun path to take so you know what you have to learn or what you should, what skills you should be developing and, and you enjoy learning it along the way. But also a lot of people who've been in the Salesforce ecosystem for several years mm -hmm. will find um, content that, that it's either advanced and that's why it appeals to them or there can be, you can get pretty far along in, a, in your career and have missed something basic in a right. tool or have uh, been using something in a way that's maybe not the most simple mm -hmm. and still need uh, Salesforce. Also, another thing um, 
that's great about Salesforce is we're constantly updating with new releases throughout the year, um, making the, the tools stronger and better. So it's important to refresh your skills. Um, and so we have releases for the spring release 2017, et cetera, available on Trailhead so you can see what's new um, and make sure you're aware of what to look out for. So you could always use it to brush up on your skills in, in that way as well. That is an excellent point. And uh, just to further that point, I, I want to call out for those people who are working in organizations that are only using Salesforce Classic. And there is no discussion whatsoever of tapping into Lightning Experience. Using, leveraging the release-based uh, content, the release focus, release centric content that is available in Trailhead allows people to get a better understanding of exactly what these Lightning Experience fe new features are, while at the same time getting the hands on experience of leveraging them, which in my mind is not a waste of time for that professional whatsoever, just the opposite. It is a huge investment in their own career path because it is, I think, inevitable <laughs> that each organization is, it's just a matter of when. They're going to decide, yep, it's time to move over to Lightning. And when that happens, the person who invested the time to, with each release, to learn about these new features with Lightning experience, even though the organization is not using it, is going to be the first one at the front of the line to say, oh, I can tell you about all of these new features. I, I've mastered these quite a while ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a wonderful thing for your own career to be able to say that you know um, a lot about a feature that your your company may not be using, or um, some you know something like Lightning or Wave, where you can speak to the power and importance um, of of starting to integrate uh, those sorts of of tools and migrating over. And 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 Trailhead can provide you exposure and education in areas that you wouldn't be able to train yourself based on the instance you may be running at your company. Um, and so I think that that's, that's a wonderful um, when I think about helping people promote themselves in their own careers, expanding their knowledge um, beyond what they do in their day-to-day, -day, which either can help them learn things they could do better in their day-to-day or, you know, speak to um, their management at their company about making some improvements. Actually, on that end, we actually have a wonderful trail um, from the Drucker School, um, mm -hmm. which is all about kind of giving yourself an MBA in how to speak to upper management, how to be a, a change leader, how to, how to kind of express what you know as, a, as an admin Mm -hmm. to C-level executives so they understand what you're doing, so you understand what they're, what they're looking for and they understand your language and it's, that's a wonderful skill as well. So not all of the content on Trailhead is specific to technical Salesforce skills. There's, um, you know, the, the Drucker Trail, as I said, which is talking about um, sort of business management um, skills, but there's also um, skills about giving feedback and coaching and being a better manager in general. We have a wonderful trail about diversity and inclusion. Mm -hmm. um, there's there's information about how to speak in public. Uh, all kinds of things that are important for a well-rounded individual to succeed in business, and so um, that's kind of wonderful as well. And you mentioned Lightning. There is a lot of wonderful content on Lightning that people, um, I think, will find uh, quite helpful if they're if they're switching, uh, if they're migrating to Lightning at their company um, or if they'd like to. And so that's a wonderful thing to mention as well. Yep, absolutely. Um, I do have one, uh, I think, impressive success story, and it's not even a success story of mine. It's um, mm -hmm. I have a college intern who's working for me, and he has learned Salesforce through Trailhead. And, Wonderful. <laughs> uh, yes, and uh, to the point where he's able to help me in a very significant way on several 
substantial projects. And one of the projects in particular, it's uh, this this project is for a relatively small uh, business, but this business was interested in leveraging geolocation information regarding the accounts that they have in their Salesforce database. And they did not necessarily, they were not interested in leveraging one of the several incredibly impressive powerful apps that are out there on the app exchange um, to take geolocation to a whole other level. They just wanted very basic stuff just to see which accounts within the Salesforce database are within a certain radius of a particular area. So like a zip code. And my intern did the um, trailhead project of build an account build an account geolocation, geolocation app. Yes. <laughs> and he showed it to me uh, two days ago, and I was blown away. Like, oh, my God, this is so cool. Client is beyond thrilled. It's really cool stuff. That's amazing. That project takes about an hour, and it really, mm-hmm. I've heard great things about people being able to learn and utilize those skills really quickly. That's, um, our hand, our projects are um, a separate portion on, on Trailhead. We have trails, we have modules, mm-hmm. and projects, and projects um, are an extra um, hands-on practice with Salesforce, and it has step-by-step instructions, so you can um, kind of build an actual functioning, um, tr- it's all about kind of building something rather than uh, some of our modules, they certainly have hands-on challenges, mm-hmm. and so you, you go through, but the project, it's it's more instructions-based, so I, I, I really enjoy those. It's when I start to feel like I'm really getting um, something out of my new skills, yep. so that's wonderful to hear, yep. and that's an intermediate developer badge, so he's already chugging along oh yeah yeah he's been doing some (laughs) yeah really cool stuff i keep telling him uh he know you know he knows so much already he just he has to get the certifications just to formalize the knowledge and skill set that he has sure yeah he's incredibly positioned within the salesforce ecosystem that's wonderful Yeah. yeah he should is he active on social media as a a Salesforce developer? Uh, he's not really active on social media. He does have social media <laughs> accounts. He's very, he's a very shy guy. Uh, oh, trying, yeah. I need to work on getting well, him out of his shell a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Because I think one of the best parts. So I'm, I'm. You might think I'm biased, but I don't even consider it a bias. But I do run the the Trailhead Twitter account. Mm-hmm. But I think anyone else would even say that our community online, not only on Twitter but on the success community itself is so wonderful and supportive yeah. and so I think it would be exciting for him to get out there and and, and meet some of the other people uh, who, who share his interests and then also yeah. you can get support and answer questions and they send gifts to each other mm-hmm. uh, gifts the image file but also yeah. gifts <laughs> the, in the mail gifts I the see tea. them send yes. each other swag um, <laughs> So I feel like uh, that's that's a fun that could be a fun extra level um, for him, yeah. but uh, you know. No I will I I will definitely encourage him. I'll give him a warm welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I'll take you up. <laughs> he has no idea what he's in for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I have another question. So if, if sure. people are going to log into Trailhead, so again, imagine most of, most of the audience, most of the listeners who have not yet uh, necessarily tapped into the magic of Trailhead. They might have heard <laughs> something about it, uh, sure. or perhaps this is the first time they're actually exploring it. And how much time do you think they should set aside to start poking around and playing around in Trailhead? You know, it really, it depends on the individual, how much time that they have um, to dedicate to self-guided learning, but also maybe the style in which that they enjoy learning. So everyone kind of does their own studying outside of work, either Mm -hmm. for professional development or just improving their own minds. Mm -hmm. Um, And so personally, I like to do a little bit every day. It makes Mm -hmm. me feel accomplished and I like to not kind of overwhelm myself with too large a block of time. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think Trailhead is perfect for that. It has 
uh, bite-sized content that you can kind of uh, decide to consume at your own speed. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our content is around a half hour to 45 minutes to really master a new skill. Some of it is as, as short as 15 minutes. So a lot of people like to do since it is a work skill, they take some time at, at their lunch during the work day to, to do trailhead at lunch and to brush up on skills, whereas other people choose to do it you know, at home or on the weekend. So I, I think that it's nice to do it in at least a block of a half an hour for me personally to really feel like I'm, I'm absorbing but not feel like I'm, I'm unable to get it into my schedule. I mean, I, I, depending on what the person wants to learn or if they want to follow a trail and they want to start at the very beginning, um, they can see that um, most units, so a module is, is built up of several units, take around 10, 5, 10, 15 minutes. So they could do just units if they really only want to spend a, a smaller amount of time. They could slowly build up to modules um, over the course of a, a, a few days. It really depends how someone likes to, to learn and that's kind of what's wonderful about Trailhead is there's no demand for the amount of time you mm -hmm. sit down. You don't have to dedicate a full you know, Monday, 9 to 3, or something like that to to take in the knowledge. You can kind of pop in at either your own leisure or your own ability um, and at your own convenience, really. So you can learn a skill from, you know, you can do it from like 10 a.m. to 10.15 and then not pick it up again until later that evening or the next week. It's really up to you. I agree 100%. Uh, I'll tell you that very often, uh, especially when I'm working alongside some professionals for a particular a new Salesforce rollout and some of the employees within the organization that want and expect to be owning the implementation of Salesforce after the go live, as I'm working side by side with them, they often ask me questions like, okay, how do I get up to speed? I want, I want to be an admin or I want to be a developer. Uh, how do I get up to speed with it? Of course, I'm the first thing that comes out of my mouth is trailhead. And <laughs> after they look at me funny, like, are we talking about hiking now? Did, do you have any ADD or what? After I, after we get through that and I explain, I show them, I take them to the website. Um, what typically happens is, and I'll give the same recommendation that you just gave, by the way, do it at your own pace and you don't have to dedicate a particular amount of time, but it's all good, you know, as it fits your schedule. Very often what will happen is just to reinforce that point as certain components come up. So, for example, this actually just came up today uh, where a client turned to me and asked about uh, – leveraging uh, leveraging a particular feature within Service Cloud. And I turned to them and I said, remember I mentioned Trailhead? Well, guess what? You can log into Trailhead, and I'll, I'll even get into more detail. We're talking about leveraging knowledge, Salesforce knowledge. Uh, mm -hmm. I said, remember I, we, uh, I, to I mentioned Trailhead? Well, even though you do not yet have access <laughs> to the production instance of Salesforce that I'm working on for you, what you can do is you can do this module called Knowledge Basics, and it will give you an understanding of what features are included, how you can turn it on. I'm not asking you to. You don't need to. By the way, if you do want to help me with the implementation, you can. <laughs> but aside from that, you can go right here and you can learn at your own pace. So I'm sort of giving them that bite-sized chunk and uh, encouraging them to dedicate the time. Like now it's timely. We're talking about this as a, as a project that it might be relevant for your organization. You can dedicate the time, whether we're talking about 15 minutes, an hour, two hours, whatever it might be, to go and dive a little bit deeper by leveraging Trailhead, this content that's relevant and the time and and it's timely as well. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's wonderful to hear. I, I know Knowledge Basics is also about an hour. A lot of our badges take about an hour, and it's part of a whole a whole trail. So what's kind of neat about that is you can suggest someone one bite-sized bit of uh, of information, and then they can see um, by looking at the whole trail uh, what what our our writers and editors feel are important um, things to know. Um, 
in relation to that new new topic. So uh, I, that's wonderful here. And you also you bring up a good point, which is that you don't have to have access to your instance, uh, your works instance, to use Trailhead. Mm -hmm. um, and for that. And, and and to to even explain that more is you don't have to be a, a, a Salesforce customer right. to use Trailhead. And a lot of people aren't Salesforce customers who use Trailhead. They might be hoping to get a job um, at a company that uses Salesforce, but they've never used Salesforce before. They might be at a company that's using some other product, but they want to gain Salesforce skills because they've heard right. that Salesforce skills lead to high salaries and wonderful mm -hmm. career paths. So anyone, even a teenager who wants to have an internship or is just trying to see what's out there, or even a young a younger person, because we have some some student based content as well, could get could get um, kind of get their feet wet in the world of Salesforce without having to land the job because as we all know um, it's it's a lot of jobs require experience and it's so hard to get get your job if you don't have a chance to get the experience first right. I could not get a job as a waitress to save my life <laughs> in high school because I didn't have any experience and no one would let me like give it a try and that's kind of a silly example but in this it's kind of um, the one of the one of the many great things about trailhead is it allows people to gain experience um, to get badges they can put on their resume to to earn super badges which show that they have an advanced hands-on knowledge which they can put on their resume um, and build a wonderful portfolio of skills and even prepare for certifications like you've mentioned in the past mm -hmm. um, all without actually landing their first job it can help them land their first job or it can allow maybe a nonprofit who's looking for someone to help them out with some implementation allow them to feel more comfortable allowing someone to do some pro bono work some volunteer work with them because they can see that this individual, while they don't yet have a Salesforce full-time job, they have uh, some skill background. Right. Um, and then by you, then that that nonprofit work is not only wonderful for the organization and wonderful for the community, but can serve as some more work experience to help one get get the first job. So um, that's kind of one of my my favorite things that we haven't talked about yet about Childhood is mm -hmm. that it can help people. Um, who want to put in the, the time to, to learn something on their own. It can help them um, get get a, a wonderful role in, in the Salesforce Ohana. So uh, that's that's kind of great. And you actually brought up something else that's uh, that I think is, is worth noting, which is the utilization of Salesforce within nonprofits and how people mm. can, le can uh, leverage trailhead to not only build upon their own skill set and knowledge base, but to get the hands-on experience even beyond what the trailhead uh, content course material provides, but to now execute on that knowledge with additional hands-on experience and helping their favorite nonprofit. And when I say that, a lot of times people say, Salesforce, nonprofits, why on earth would nonprofits be using Salesforce? If you didn't realize, if people in the audience who are listening to this did not realize it, uh, the way nonprofits are using Salesforce, many are. And just pick your favorite nonprofit, turn to them. And even if they're not using Salesforce, you can help get them onto Salesforce as a 501c3 organization they are likely entitled to 10 free licenses and using the skill set that are gained through Trailhead, um, you can go ahead and build that account geolocation app for your favorite <laughs> nonprofit. Yeah, I think that's such a wonderful um, tool that Salesforce can provide for people um, I'm, and that Trailhead can provide as well. Um, we like one of the reasons I joined Salesforce was not only that it's a cutting edge and exciting company um, for me personally, but I have a background in nonprofits, which I've spoke about mm -hmm. um, on in other interviews. But um, it the 
the philanthropic endeavors that Salesforce has gone through in the past and, and, and continues to dedicate itself um, to is was so attractive to me. Um, and in the, pa in the past at the nonprofits I use, I was never the Salesforce admin, um, but I was always a business user. Um, and so I could certainly see um, the benefit of being able to go in and 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 donate some time to help your favorite cause, uh, make sure that they're using Salesforce in a way that benefits them, and maybe even show them Trailhead and, and allow them to to learn some new skills as well. I know I, I've turned and given my old teammates um, at the last two nonprofits I was at. Um, specific like lessons via via trailhead you know asked mm -hmm. like showing them particular badges and and trails that I think that they would benefit from based on what I know that they, their weaknesses are and I, that's so great um, and I think it's also a wonderful thing that everyone um, often says that they wish they could volunteer and give give back to their community and, and one of the ways you can do that is by uh, helping out organizations with their instance of Salesforce and mm -hmm. another way is we have uh, kind of a community program called Trailhead for All, uh, which involves teaching via Trailhead to groups usually in person in your community. So if you want to identify, um, maybe it's a group of students who'd like to expose them to career opportunities and let them see what, what's out there for them, or adults who need a career change or to build business skills. A lot of members of the um, Trailhead Ohana, uh, in particular, mm -hmm. go into their communities and donate time by teaching via Trailhead because it it allows you to tutor people with Salesforce skills in a, in but using a tool that already exists. You don't have to invent your own class, uh, you know, syllabus and mm -hmm. kind of figure out how am I going to teach this. We have already thought of the best way to teach it and to lay it out, um, and you can choose a module um, that maybe fits your audience. Um, and teach that, which is really exciting. We have a um, particular trail for students that has a lemon, build a lemonade stand app um, module on it, which a lot, or I guess it's a project, which a lot of people mm -hmm. love to teach when they're teaching children. Um, but honestly, anyone would probably enjoy it. Um, and that's part of our, our Rock Your Future with Salesforce um, trail. Uh, and that has you know, content that's great, especially for students. Um, anyway, I digress, but I think that the 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 overlap of Trailhead and and doing work, good work in your community is 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 there's a, a large overlap there, uh, and I think it's one of one of the really great things about it. That's awesome um, <laughs> and and very impressive. And let me also call out, uh, I believe. Mark Benioff said this at the most recent Dreamforce 2016. If you don't know where to turn uh, to help your to find a nonprofit that could use some help with Salesforce, look in your own local public library. Uh, look to your local public school system. Just walk in there and ask, "How can I help?" Absolutely. Yeah, uh, you'll find that a lot of organizations are using it or hope to use it and perhaps you can help them feel comfortable with making that that change exactly. and migrating over so that's yeah. wonderful yeah so let me ask you what are some of the most common misconceptions <laughs> about trailhead you know i think we hit the most common one which is that you don't you don't have to be a, a Salesforce customer to access Trailhead. That it's free, it's online, you can access it from your home, um, you don't need to be on a, your works VPN or have mm -hmm. special privileges. Anyone of any age can access Trailhead for free um, but just visiting trailhead.salesforce.com. Actually, if you Google the word Trailhead, um, we're the first result so you can um, find us that way as well. And I think that that's something that constantly surprises people, even at events where, where folks are really part of the Salesforce ecosystem and, 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 I, and I know they've heard of Trailhead before, they're always surprised that it's open to the public. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's kind of part of our mentality here on the Trailhead team, but also at Salesforce, is that you know education and information like this should be available to the public. So we have a goal to make sure that that children or adults looking for career changes can get exposure to what what's out there. Um, there's been a lot of really great news reports. Uh, 
in the last couple of years about how careers uh, in the Salesforce ecosystem are, are growing in demand and salary level um, and they're the two of the top 10 jobs for 2017 according to a recent uh, release by the company indeed are Salesforce admin and Salesforce developer wow. so these are great great skills I know they're just because think about it all, like so many companies use Salesforce right. and they need someone who can implement it in a proper way to help their company succeed and so these are these are jobs where they are looking for specific skills and mm -hmm. they're willing to pay um, a, a, a wonderful salary mm -hmm. to make sure that you can help them succeed because a properly used uh, Salesforce instance can really take your business to the next level mm -hmm. so it's a great skill to have if you are um, looking for looking to have like a, a, a career a career path and not just a job as well which is, is also makes me feel good as someone who works on the team that I'm, I'm able to help people kind of make a career path for themselves absolutely and the way I see it it's, it's all about empowerment empowerment for the mm -hmm. individual to help themselves in their own career path their own learning their own ability to contribute back to the organization or plural organizations mm -hmm. that they're part of and empowering the organization as a whole to by through the uh, the use of the Salesforce platform empowering the organization to work in a more efficient simplistic automated way and the team members within that organization to from a sales marketing customer service operations perspective mm -hmm. to efficiently so it's great yeah and I think it it's wonderful and it all it eliminates that sort of anxiety of not not knowing how to do your job properly when you're new or if you come across a new tool at work um, the trailhead allows you to see how easy Salesforce really is and it walks you through um, so you can feel confident that you're doing it the right way and that you're kind of building things where down the line you won't regret how you did something <laughs> in the past and it makes you realize that Salesforce is like a strong and intuitive and not Hard to use tool at all, but uh, but Trailhead kind of helps people see that, and it makes them feel uh, uh, prepared and accomplished um, right. by allowing them to try things hands on. So that that's another thing that I like about it. But maybe that's just because I'm a nervous person. But I love being able to test things <laughs> out uh, ahead of time and in a safe uh, testing environment. Right. Um, and and that's what appeals to me uh, with Trailhead. <laughs> yeah. No, absolutely. And it, it, it all goes back to having that uh, safe comfort zone where it's okay if you screw up. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's kind of great experience. if you do. Yeah. Like we do, we give badges and we give points, but really that should motivate the individual. Um, if you if you don't do it right the first time, I think that's great because you can learn and figure out what you did wrong. And in the end, all that matters is that you've learned the skill. You right. know, like we if we have ranks and and you try to you can kind of aspire to. Um, earn enough badges to get to the next rank and that and it's and it's certainly fun and motivating and people love um, you know in general it's a very in the human nature to want to advance and right. and succeed mm -hmm. but I think what's great about Trailhead is that you are um, working on something for your own empowerment and your own betterment so it's okay if you it take it took me a while to get through some of my more um, intermediate level admin badges that's the mm -hmm. level I'm at right now and mm -hmm. I, I think that that's fine I mean frankly I rather it it shows me that it's working and that it, it it's real, right? That you're not yeah. just breezing through and then you get to work and you don't know how to do uh, what you need to do. It, it challenges you um, in a way that you you do learn and you do remember uh, how you did something and how you built um, certain skills. So that's wonderful. Absolutely. Yeah. Dana, thank you so much for joining me today on the podcast. I have no doubt that my listeners are going to find your insights and wisdom on on Trailhead to be incredibly valuable. Again, as mm -hmm. the question, I, I'm getting these questions on a regular basis. So um, thank you for helping me to get the word out on Trailhead. And My pleasure. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having me. Yep.
My pleasure. So I look forward to having you again on the uh, podcast in the not too distant future. In the meantime, keep rocking and doing what you're doing and providing more content for the rest of us to enjoy and learn and grow. Thank you so much. Thank you for this wonderful podcast and this great opportunity to speak on it. Thank you. You bet. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Brainiate Show. Don't forget to check out the show notes for links to any resources referenced in this podcast. Also, don't forget to head over to Brainiate.com to subscribe to the Brainiate blog, where I regularly share Salesforce-related tips and tricks to help you become a Salesforce rock star.